more about Fridays. It's almost Monday again. <sighs> Maybe I need to eat something before I start. Jenna Jenna, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. I do mostly photography based stuff, but I like to mix it up. So every year people do these, what's in my camera bag? I was thinking I did it last year, why not do it this year? And then I realized I don't always pack my bags the same. Don't always bring all my gear. And uh, sometimes at a shoot or out filming, I realized maybe I needed that. Uh, I should have this lens, but it is what it is. I do the best with the situation. So then I used to show you what I usually pack and what bag I use for what location. So let's start off with the bags. I have one lower pro. Awesome bag for when I'm heading out in the woods is a nice backpack and it fits perfect on my back and it's good for my back as well. The other bag I use is a Think Tank. Compared to the Lower Pro, it's a little bit bigger, fits more stuff and it also fits my 15 inch laptop, which the Lower Pro doesn't. I'm not gonna go into details on these bags, I used these are the two brands I'm using. It just happened to be that way. No special reason, it just was a good price on them both. And the think tank was that I needed a bag that could fit my laptop so I could bring it with me instead of have a separate bag or something separate and put the laptop there. So now over to the cameras. I always bring my G9. It all depends on what I'm doing, but the G9 is always coming with me. It's a great camera for photos, so why not? But if I know I'm gonna film, I bring the GH5. I usually put the 24-70mm on it. I talked about it in my last video. It's an awesome lens to do whatever you want with. And now when we're talking about lenses, just let's head straight into it. As I said, if I know I'm gonna film, I bring the 24 7 mm If I'm just going for a short trip or for a walk, I actually can like put it on the G9. Some trust issues with the 24 7 mm but it always comes with me if I know I'm gonna film. But if I know I'm gonna photograph more, I usually just bring the 35 and to six millimeter lens. My two prime Sigma lenses. And if it feels like I'm gonna need a 70 to 200 lens, I bring that. But it's 2022 and I've decided I'm gonna try to travel lighter and not bring as much gear that I used to. I don't wanna to be too independent on having certain gear with me all the time. And it's easier for my back not to carry around like a 50 kilos bag with stuff that I maybe not even use. So it's not always that I pack down the 70 to 200, but from time to time, I feel like I wanna, I wanna use the lens because I like all my lenses, I like all my gear and I like to mix it up. In 2022, I will try to do more drone photos. I'm using the DJI Mini 2. I used to upgrade it from the DJI Mini because the 2 just shoots raw and it fills in 4K instead of 2.7, I think and not raw. And I've decided this year, I'm gonna try to shoot more drone photos. That's pretty much why I upgraded it. Cost me money, but there's money well spent for in my opinion. I don't know if I'm gonna say that I put it in the bag, but most of the times, especially now, I have a separate bag for the drone. We're 
where I pack the controller and the battery charger with some propellers. So let's over to some extra stuff that I put in the bags. In the Low Pro, I always have uh, a lens protection that I pretty much have there because if I need it, I can bring it out and not to put it on the lens, but to use as some sort of foreground or like have it in the photo. That's the only reason it's there. It, I think it's broken, so I can't screw it on. It's bent. But I use it there, I always leave it there, so in case I want to use it, I can use it. In the Think Tank, which I'm often using for when I'm going to actually do a photo job, so I bring my laptop, I always have uh, an extra memory card with me. In the Low Pro, I feel like I don't need it that much, because I'm going out in the woods, if some card gets damaged or something happens to the cards I have in the camera, I have two cards in both my cameras just for safety if something happened to them often I, I will be fine but if I'm out doing a job for someone it feels good to have an extra memory card with me and now maybe to the most important part I always have a dextral pack with me so I can eat it and get the glucose levels up again so I don't end up in the emergency room and that's something that never leaves the bag. I never pack it up. It's It always lays there so I don't forget it. So that's what I have in my camera bags. Like comment down below if you got something special that you use or something that you maybe think that other people or other photographers don't. But that's all for this video and I hope you like it. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And you should definitely go follow me on Instagram where I upload photos, stories about my life from time to time. I'm very bad at stories, but I'm trying to get better for 2022. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. And I can't reach it from there, so I'm just gonna black it out. So every year people do this, what's in my camera bag, and I was... I was fifth, 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 I was fifth. So every year.